Hi there, and welcome to our lecture on density. So as we said in the previous lecture, density is a physical property. And to redefine density, it's the ratio of the mass of a substance to the volume of the substance. And we can represent this by the chemical formula, density equals mass divided by volume. Or we can abbreviate each of those uh, to variables. So D equals M divided by V. A uh, common unit of density is grams per cubic centimeter. I would also like to add that we may see grams per milliliter. So this is also common. And I might have said previously that cubic centimeters is equal to what we call cc's, typically used in the medical field, and the same as milliliters. And density is different from weight because it's taking into consideration mass and volume, and not necessarily the gravity that's pushing down on a particular mass. All right, so on the previous slide, we said the equation for density is D equals M divided by V, or mass divided by volume. Uh, whenever you work out a problem with density, you can solve for the density. So you could solve for D, you could solve for M, or you could solve for V. Uh, so really quick, here are some visuals that may be uh, help. As far as remembering this equation, so we can draw a little heart with an arrow through it. So the top of the heart represents the M, so you kind of visualize the top as an M. The bottom makes this V symbol, so density equals mass divided by volume. Uh, another way that we can solve for density is we can draw a triangle. We're going to put a little T in the middle of it. And what we can do is we can take these variables D, M, and V and plug it into our triangle here. So D goes in the bottom left, M goes on top, and V goes underneath. So in order to use this triangle, you just cover up the variable that you want to find, so the one you don't know about. So if you want to solve for density, cover up density, and then you've got mass, and the line here represents divide. So when you're going from the top to the bottom, you're dividing. When you're moving across, so if you were wanting to solve for mass, you cover up mass density times volume. That lower arrow is multiplication. So you just cover up the variable that you want to find, and you solve for, for it based on how you move on this little triangle here. So solve for volume, take mass, divide by density. I could also look at this original formula, density equals mass divided by volume. And if I wanted to solve for mass, I can multiply both sides by V. So mass could equal density times volume. Or my other possibility is volume is equal to mass divided by density. There you go. So on the next slide, kind of got a preview of that one already, uh, we can run through an example problem. So if we've got um, 10 cubic centimeters of ice, so we've got a volume of ice, has a mass of 9.17 grams, what is the density of ice? So we can list our given and unknown values. So mass is 9.17 grams, our volume is 10.0 cubic centimeters, and density is what we want to find, so that's our unknown. So we're going to write the equation for density, which equals mass divided by volume. So writing down our equation, D equals M over V, plug in what we want to find, 
plug in what we have and then to solve for what we want to find. So we take 9.17 grams divided by 10.0 cubic centimeters. We get the density of this substance as 0.917 grams per cubic centimeter. Let me make a quick note before I end this presentation. Uh, when you look at the density number, whenever the density, density is less than the value, So for water, when density is less than 1, our object will float. And when something is in water and the density is greater than 1, so the density of the object is greater than 1, it sinks. So uh, this is only true, it can only be 1 if it is water. But anytime the density of an object is less than the density of the object it's in, it will float. Anytime the density of the object that's in the solution or in the liquid is greater than the density of the liquid that it's in, it will sink. So, thanks for listening.